Okay, here we are again. wanted to show what I worked on yesterday, which was actually this box. Uh, again, went down that Pinterest rabbit hole, and I found this cool box. Now, I did find a few videos on Facebook, so I guess this is something that's been done. It, it, all the videos seem to be about three years old, so I guess maybe I'm a little behind on this project, but I had never made one, never really seen one of these. So I decided to make one. Um, I didn't actually watch any of the videos on YouTube. I did it from Pinterest. And Pinterest, the, the, the one that I liked had this really funky top on it. And it wasn't a video tutorial. It was a step-by-step -step tutorial, but each step had pictures with it. So it did make it a little easier to follow. And I also felt I had enough experience making, like, basic boxes. The lid was a little intimidating, but it wasn't too bad once I really looked at the instructions. And at first when I was looking at the instructions, I was kind of like, huh, what? I don't get it. But then I just started doing each step. I decided to try it, and I figured if it came out like a train wreck, I just wouldn't use it. But it actually didn't come out too bad. Um... Yeah, I mean, it came out pretty good. It's a little wonky, not quite right, but for my first attempt, I don't think it was too bad. So, let's just see what I did here. I did put some flowers on the top. It's kind of got like a milk carton. That's what my sister said it looked like, was like a milk carton kind of look to it from the top. But it's actually kind of an interesting top, and I figured if it turned out like a disaster, I would just do a square top. I knew how to make those. But the real cool part is actually on the inside. So let me pull the top off. Uh, I just used white cardstock. But it was kind of a cool little shape. And it was something I just wanted to try. It was something different. I like to do different. I get bored really, really easily. So, this is the box, and it opens up like this, and it's actually called a four-draw magic box, I believe is what it was called. But I really thought it was interesting. I liked it. It was something a little different. I like different. Oh, sorry, I'm getting a text message. i have to get back to her in a minute. Um... But anyway, she, uh, my sister was the one, she, we decided to do, sometimes we'll do like crafty days on Saturdays when she's off from work and I'm off from work. She'll come over, we'll just kind of hang, make each other laugh, you know, that kind of thing, pick on each other, rip on each other a little, because that's what we do in our house. But, uh, she was working, she does paper quilling, so she was working on that, and I was just kind of cruising, um, Pinterest and saw these and went for it. But yeah, it was pretty easy to make. It's just four pretty simple boxes. Just a quarter fold, I guess, piece of paper. Um, I mean, you do have to lift them up a little bit sometimes. I mean, because they literally just fit in there. But it wasn't hard to construct or put together. I mean, I had it done. I had most of the decorating done probably in 45 minutes. And then I added, like, these embellishments in uh, this morning. And on the top, the other thing I wanted to show was, I did cut triangles out for in here. But this, like, funky shape, it was, like, just squared off. Um, in the tutorial, she used a uh, corner punch, which I actually don't own any. So what I did, which was actually my sister's idea, was to use just the decorative edge pinking shears. And I just used that to get just a shape. At first, I just used my corner rounder, but it wasn't enough and it just looked kind of funky and then there was just these bright white like crazy corners and I really wasn't digging it so to just tone down that white I used oh sorry gotta focus a little but I used um those silver like I don't know it's not the rub and buff but they're like those oily you just kind of stick your finger in there and rub it on and I just wanted to tone down that crazy bright white but I just put some of those mulberry paper flowers, um, a flatback pearl, that's what those things are called. 
did some lace bows. Now these are my fork bows. Uh, again, there's tutorials all over uh, YouTube. So just hit, uh, just search uh, fork bows and, and you'll see how to make them on a fork. It makes these nice and even. It puts the tails right where you want them. They're just easier to make because my bows, if I try to just do them without any assistance, they come out like garbage. So, like I said, the, the top's a little wonky. I guess I didn't quite get it square. And I was having some issues because you had to do like these angle um, uh, score lines and, you know, trying to line it up on the right score line. Like I'm counting score. It was a pain in the neck a little bit. So... I do have an idea I might try it a little differently next time but other than that I mean I do think it came out pretty good and it fits on the box so that was the box that I made and then just real quick the other little thingy I kind of worked on was I found actually I'll show them here at Dollar Tree they had these um key tag split rings eight for a buck uh they're I guess they're like keychains but I guess you're supposed to write on them like house key or certain type of car key or something like that i've even seen people use them as like price tags at um like garage sales things like that but i got a bunch of those and i was like oh these could make cute charms to alter so let me show the first one i did because it eh, didn't come out great but you know first ones are always an experiment so I did this one. Basically, I just used my one-inch circle punch. The thing is, these are an inch and a quarter, so I wish I had a little bit bigger of a circle punch. I was even seeing if like a quarter was bigger to trace, but wasn't quite big enough. But I'll figure that out. That's not the end of the world. But I just used some music paper that we had out of it. Actually, it's like an, a vintage music book. And then they have those resin, um, I think they're resin or epoxy maybe is what they're called actually stickers those clear rounded stickers you're supposed to put them in bottle caps when you do the bottle cap crafts so you know it worked the hole was a little too big that i punched because i tried to punch it where the original hole was in these but what i did the second one which was kind of cool uh this one came out a little bit better i did a much smaller hole and i tried to put it right up against the metal ring and I just used little stickles. I just used some real tiny scrap paper that we had. And that one came out a little better. So I was pretty happy with that. And then the third one I did, just actually a little while ago, I just put one of those mulberry flowers on just to see. And I just stuck a big flat back gem. I mean, design-wise, it's probably not, like, amazing. But I was just kind of messing around just seeing what you could really do. But I thought they would make nice little charms or something to hang as little extras, little goodies. So I figured I might, like, as a goodie, because I'm trying to step up my goodie game a little bit. So we did hit the dollar store. We hit Joann's, Michael's. And uh, I was just trying to pick up clearance stuff. Um, but I thought these were a good idea, because then I was thinking what I could do was make one and then send three plain ones as goodies. So everybody could kind of make their own. I thought that would be kind of a cool little, little extra, little craft extra to do. But, yep, and then I had just put them in here when I was done with them. But, yeah, that was pretty much it. That was pretty much the, the gist of what I was doing. So, yep, and then it just folds back in. And the top can go on. And I found these um, cameos on Pinterest, I think. Free printables, ba ba ba. Hit that, put a, printed them out, cut them out real quick. Did some uh, flatbacks, dollar store flatbacks, especially when I'm going to use a lot like that. I like to use the dollar store ones. I don't like to use the more expensive ones. I'm kind of weird like that. And I did put a little piece of paper on the bottom just to stiffen up the bottom a little. And actually, I did put paper on the insides of those. Again, just to stiffen up the bottoms a little bit. And then just some other um, printables that I had found. Some vintage uh, printables, Victorian printables, something like that. I used a little washi tape that I had just gotten actually at Michael's. So yeah, I was pretty happy with everything. Pretty happy with the way it came out. It came out kind of cute. It does, the lid does fit on. It's really, it, it's actually a perfect fit. It's just, I feel like it's not quite square, but it's okay. You don't really notice it. But yep, so that was the magic box. Four drawer magic box, actually, I believe is what it's called. But yep.
that was pretty much it. Just wanted to show it. And, uh, you know, everybody keep going down those rabbit holes. You'll be surprised what you can find. Have a good night.